Hey guys, Joste here. So before I start the video, I wanted to clarify something. So on my previous video of this TV, this is the Sony X900H. I mentioned that the remote controller doesn't have Bluetooth and I was actually wrong. Thanks to some of you guys mentioned that it does have Bluetooth. And as a matter of fact, even if you try to use the uh, voice assistant without Bluetooth, it doesn't work. You guys notice? There's nothing going on, nothing happens. So you must connect this to your TV through Bluetooth to have full functionality of it. So we're going to do this right now. Let's go into settings on the TV. <clears throat> and then we're going to go all the way down where it says remotes and accessories. And then over here, Bluetooth settings, you must make sure that this is on. You guys notice Bluetooth is on. So now let's go to go into remote control and then we're going to connect via Bluetooth. Now over here is going to say press hold down the volume button and also the voice assistant. So we're going to press this one and this one. I guess it is <laughs> connecting now and then it is now connected. And it says Sony software update. Let's check out if there's any updates for the remote controller. It is up to date. And then now it is connected and now it has full functions. So now let's uh, test the voice assistant. Show me movies in 4K. And there you go. Everything is working now. So that is how you connect your remote controller with this TV via Bluetooth. I can actually point anywhere else and it still works. I like this. All right, let's get back into this video, guys. Let's do this. All right, guys. So now I'm going to start gaming with this TV. Remember, this is the Sony X900H or X90H. This is the 55 inch version 4K HDR with Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, and of course, HLG and HDR support. So this time I uh, connected this TV with my Xbox One X. So I'm gonna show you some gaming, some performance. And let me tell you guys, at first glance, I love how this looks. It looks impressive. I've been playing some uh, HDR games, like of course, Forza Horizon. I also play some a little bit of Tomb Raider. Uh, and of course, Call of Duty, that's my favorite game. But I'm gonna show you first, let's uh, check out how the Xbox One X, uh, the settings, right? So I connect to my Xbox, let's go into the settings. And I'm gonna show you all the green check marks that we get with this TV. So now right here, we're gonna go into TV and display options. And this is running in 4K. And you also have the option of 1080p and 720p, not 1440p, unfortunately. This TV is a 120 hertz panel, so you also have that option, 120 hertz or 60 hertz. But even if I change this to 120 hertz, the resolution will drop to 1080p. So hopefully when they update the uh, HDMI ports to HDMI 2.1, you have that option for 1440p, because I really want to get that. So over here in 4K TV details, of course, we have all the green check marks. This TV has everything. And then over here in video modes, we only have a few options. Well, most of them are check marked, but our auto login latency is not available and also variable refresh rate. So remember, this TV is going to get an update for HDMI 2.1. So we're going to get those features later on. I don't understand why Sony is doing this. They just should have included that already right but now we have to wait for an update it just seems <laughs> they're just playing games with us that's how i feel but uh, anyways that's how it is right now so basically they're hdmi 2.0 right now that's how this tv is all right guys so now i'm playing horizon forza horizon 4 i always every time i say horizon i think horizon zero down but no this is forza horizon 4 and of course this is one of the best looking games racing games right here on the xbox one x now this game runs in 4k with hdr and also at 60 hertz so it is a very very demanding game but it also looks beautiful i love the colors on this game guys it is very bright it is also colorful 
I really enjoy this game. This TV, this TV performs excellent. I don't see any stuttering. The lag is also very low. It is very playable. So if you enjoy racing games, this is probably one of the best ones available on the Xbox right now. Until we we see the new Xbox Series X, I wonder how this game is is going to run on the Series X. I wonder if they'll be able to uh, make it run at 120 hertz. That would be nice. Oh my goodness. So anyways guys, this is Forza 4 right here on the Xbox. This is running on HDR. I'm going to show you some of the settings right now too that I have on the TV. Something that has been working for me and I think uh, it might help you with your own settings on when you connect your Xbox or maybe we're playing with HDR games on this TV. So let's uh, switch to another game, shall we? Let's do this. All right, guys, so uh, somebody asked for the opening act of Gears 5, and here it is. So this is another beautiful game on the Xbox. This is also running in 4K, 60 Hertz, or 60 FPS with HDR, and this is probably one of the best HDR implementations that I've seen on a game. There is a lot of dark scenes in this game, of course. Uh, this is Gears 5, there's a lot of dark environment. So. I really enjoy the highlights. The colors also look very impressive, but the dark scenes are very well detailed in this TV. At least that's the way I see it. You know, some of you guys may see it different, especially right here. Remember, I am recording through uh, a camera, so you're not gonna get the best experience as if you are in person. So I highly recommend that you guys check out this TV if it's possible on maybe at Best Buy or uh, another retail store and just play around with it because to me honestly I love the colors I love the uh, the contrast the black levels are great they're not the best you know they're not the best as compared to an OLED I mean OLED stands out so much the highlights are so detailed but this is not bad I also connected my soundbar, the Nakamichi soundbar to this and the TV, I can control everything with the TV remote controller. The only thing I noticed is that it's a little bit of delay when you are tuning the volume up and down. But uh, other than that is, man, it sounds great. So this game also supports Dolby Atmos and my soundbar is also Dolby Atmos so let's see let me see if I register the rear speakers yeah I can actually hear them it sounds nice it sounds really good but I will prefer to have like physical speakers all over the place you know Wow, this looks so nice, guys. Look at these highlights. It, it's bright. Trust me guys, this TV can get bright even though it hits around 700 nits of peak brightness. It is it is bright. It gets bright in here. So let me show you some of the settings that I'm using while gaming with this TV. I know some of you guys are interested in seeing the settings. So let's click right here in the settings. Let's go into the picture. I'm using game mode, of course. I try using other uh, picture modes, but wow, the input lag jumps way too high. It's, it is really difficult to play with other um, picture mode outside game mode. It is very extremely difficult. I, I got dizzy right away. So let's go right here into picture. 
right? And then of course, like I said, I'm using game mode and then uh, auto picture mo auto picture mode. I turn this one on. It just automatically selects the picture mode based on viewing content. So I'm assuming that uh, it'll improve to game mode, but you can also turn it off. And honestly, I do not see any difference between this. So light sensor, I have this one off and as soon as you turn on the TV, I will highly suggest to turn this off because otherwise this will optimize the brightness of the TV according to the, the light, the ambient light. So let's say that if you are in a dark room, it's going to turn down the, the TV brightness. So you don't want to do that. You want to control that yourself. So here we have brightness. Of course, in HDR, I'm using this to the max. Now, you don't have to worry about screen burn because this is an LCD LED TV. So that's this is not going to happen. Permanent damage on the screen. That only happens on all the TVs. So contrast, I have this one in 90. Gamma, I have this one in the middle. The more you increase the gamma, the more white you increase throughout the whole picture. So you don't want to do that. Black levels, kind of like the same thing. But uh, I, I like to keep it in the in the middle. If you increase this, you notice how the picture gets brighter. You don't want to you don't want to mess that up either. Black adjustment. So this one enhances the black by analyzing the lumens levels in the picture real time and automatically adjust the dark levels. So I have this one on. It, this is totally optional. Honestly, I do not I do not see any much of a difference. But uh, so I just have this one off. Now, uh, contrast enhancement. Now, this is also optional, guys. Some of you really hate using this, but I noticed that if I use the high, the picture gets brighter, and I do not lose any details in darks. All right, so I really like it. Now, remember, these are my own personal settings. I'm just playing around with this TV. This is the one that works best for me, but I always suggest to use the ones that work best for you, okay? Now over here, this is local dimming. Of course, I want to use the highest level of local dimming. If you turn this off, then the, the whole TV gets dimmer. When I use the highest, it gets brighter. Extended dynamic range. This is something similar. This is, uh, I use this when playing uh, HDR in games. So I have this one on high. It optimizes contrast by analyzing sur surplus power of dark areas to bright areas using local dimming. So this works in conjunction with local dimming. So over here now, colors. I don't mess around much with colors. I like to keep everything neutral as possible. I know some of you guys like to have more vibrancy in the colors, and, but this is totally optional. Now over here, clarity. This is where you adjust the sharpness. I left it in at 50%. Sometimes it is ideal to turn this one down, but sometimes the, the image can get a little soft you know, so it just just play around with it. I left it over here at 50. Uh, that's how it came out in the out of the box. So motion over here, over here, all these motion enhancements are going to be switched off. You don't want to add any more input lag with all these enhancements. Video signal. Now over here, this is with HDR. You can also, if you're playing a game with this in SDR, you can use fake HDR or HLG. To add more contrast but trust me guys you don't want to do that sometimes you lose a lot of dark details hdmi video range i have this one in automatic color space i have this one in automatic too and then you can use choose you have different options dci adobe rgb bt 2020 so i always leave it in automatic to automatically adjust to the one that is best suited for whatever whatever i'm using or watching and then now here, advanced color adjustment. You can make some adjustments if you want to. I am assuming if you want to calibrate your TV, that is what is those options for. And that's it. So these are the settings that I'm using. It's very easy to follow up. And I'm getting a great experience with these guys. Highly, that's highly suggest this TV. All right, guys. So finally, we're going to test Halo. Now, this game is also running a 4K60, but... The difference is that this game doesn't have HDR. So I wanted to see how... Oh! My god. So I wanted to see how this game performs and also how colors look without HDR. And, and this is it, guys. 
<laughs> they also look very impressive. So if you're not playing with HDR, you're playing SDR, this TV will perform really good too. Man, I don't even remember. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. So far, the response time and input lag, they feel excellent. I, I don't have any complaints about it. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, I got him too. <laughs> oh, man, they got me. So, like I was saying, this game feels very smooth, very responsive, and that is very important. Especially if you enjoy playing first-person games like this one. But I, I, I also like that uh, even in standard dynamic range, this TV performs really good. Ooh. Man, we're... Oh! Holy shit! Oh. I was just about to say, where are these guys at? And, and I guess... Oh, here they are! Oh, did I just kill myself? <laughs> Anyways, guys, this looks beautiful. I like this. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to test some other games. So far, I've tested the ones that I think... Uh, that I think there are some dark games. There are also some games that they need performance as well. So, I'm very happy with this TV. I'm just waiting for HDMI 2.1 update. And hopefully they also add the 1440p option because honestly I think the uh, new consoles there's going to be more 1440p games than 4k at least 1440p uh, 120 Hertz I want to see that more of that I really doubt there's gonna be games running at 4k 120 Hertz and if they are there's going to be probably like small games not demanding games like this ones or or you know huge games so hopefully we get that option as well but if you want a TV that is roughly around a thousand dollars that is going to have uh, excellent performance even for the current generation of consoles or the next generation of consoles this TV is a great option guys my goodness I gotta kill someone oh 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 Man. Pistol, pistol. Oh, I got him. Nice. Nice, nice. All right, guys, so that's it for this game. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, 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 oh. Did I kill that one? Yes. Oh, damn it. He got me. I'm out. Oh, hey guys, Joster here. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, did you enjoy this content? If you like this kind of content, you'd like to support this channel. First off, make sure you like and subscribe. And also you, you can become a member. Just hit that join button. You get access to some of the emojis that I created. And also you get early access to some of my videos, the aftermath of the live stream that I do, but mostly, just want to support this channel hit that membership program all right i'm working on more videos right now so make sure you stay tuned for more i'll see you guys Joe Stura.